So I recently got this starter set of stainless steel cookware from Heritage Steel, which is widely considered to be some of the best American-made stainless steel cookware on the market. So in this video, I'm going to give y'all the lowdown on who Heritage Steel is, what I like, what I don't like, and my experience so far with their cookware. Let's dive in. All right, so first I wanna give you all a little bit of background on who Heritage Steel is. They are a family-owned cookware manufacturer that is based in Clarksville, Tennessee. Donald Henn founded the company when he bought a cookware manufacturer in 1983 in Clarksville, and they've been making their cookware there ever since. The company was originally named New Era and they grew pretty significantly over the years. They were one of the first to introduce induction cookware in the industry and they were one of the pioneers in multi-clad cookware, which I'll talk about in a little bit more depth later. The company rebranded Heritage Steel in 2019 and they still make everything right there in Clarksville. And they even do some manufacturing for some other brands. So you may even own a piece of Heritage Steel cookware and not even know it. Anyways, you can buy their cookware on the Heritage Steel website and the set that I received is a really unique partnership between Heritage Steel and Eater, a really popular food publication. In the five piece essential set that I received, they got a 10 and a half inch fry pan, a three quart saucepan, and a five quart saute pan. Everything's made with five ply fully clad stainless steel. And I wanna break that down because there's a couple of important things to cover here. First is their stainless steel, which is unfortunately sourced from South Korea, but they do all of their assembly in Clarksville, Tennessee. Second, most folks don't know what fully clad cookware actually means. Clad cookware is bonded material that has different layers that are bonded together. This is typically a stainless steel exterior, a core of some kind, typically aluminum because it's really more conductive to heat, and then a stainless steel interior. Clad cookware was actually invented by John Ullum, who is the founder of Allclad, another manufacturer that makes some good American-made cookware. Anyways, all this means that it's going to heat up fast, cook evenly, and last for a really long time. Now, a big gripe that I feel like a lot of people have with stainless steel cookware is they feel like it sticks a lot. So they end up buying non-stick cookware that has a bunch of coatings on it, it fades over time, you end up having to buy more of it because it wears out, and oftentimes a lot of that non-stick cookware has harmful chemicals in it. But stainless steel cookware doesn't have to stick. If you use it correctly, make sure to heat it up slowly, cook correctly and take care of it, you should have no problems with food sticking and this stainless steel cookware should last you a really long time. And one of the things I really love about Heritage Steel is that it's fully non-toxic. They don't use any coatings, there's no chemical stuff or PFAs in there. It's just high quality cladded steel. This fact, in my opinion, is one of the reasons to buy from Heritage Steel. Besides the fact that they are American made, they are also safe to use. Speaking of safe to use, they're also oven safe up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit and also safe in the broiler. And a couple other features to call out, they have a nice ergonomic stay cool handle on all of their cookware and they have a rounded lip on the edge of all of their cookware so it doesn't drip when you're pouring it out of your potter pan. So what's my final opinion on these guys? I think Heritage Steel is a really good option for American assembled stainless steel cookware. Obviously it's a really sleek look and I'm enjoying cooking with these so far. I just really wish they were sourcing their stainless steel from US suppliers. In my opinion, that would just make this stainless steel cookware a whole lot better. So what do y'all think about Heritage Steel? Let me know in the comments below and as always, Thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.